Fabrics back with part three of the Konchu Sentai Bogu Ninja line. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the auxiliary zords. We are calling these the Bogu Brothers. We have Bogu Wasp, Bogu Tick, and Weevil, and we also have Bullet Ant, or Bogu Bullet Ant, whatever you want to call it, Bug. They all exist together. These are the last three. We're going to get into each one of them, and we're going to show off the combined modes. So, this should be really interesting. Let's start off with orange and then... Okay, so here is orange and this is the Wasp Zord. It is primarily like a wind zord, but it looks really good. Now, where I live in my location, there are orange wasps. I know, right? They're about this color and they have brown and black. They're really weird and they look extremely scary. I do not want to get stung by one. But they're all over the area where I live in. And this is sort of how they look with these green eyes too. So the design we have here are just these green eyes with, you know, ridges in them. Really cool design though. I will give it that. It also has articulated antennae and his head can move. Alongside of the wings, they're also posable. And back here, we have a giant wind thruster. So that can spin around. So, yeah. That's pretty much all you get with this. Now, let's get on to here is blue. We have the Weevil and Tick. Very interesting zords, but they don't do much at all. Besides just be the zord. And that's exactly what it does. It's just going to be a zord. So... We just have a little bit of a thunder design there. Not too much going on, but sort of simple. You have the red eyes right there, and this one has orange eyes. Uh, these little guys hang out together. They slide around. They're both lightning-based. So, I guess that's cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we got for these guys. And we're just going to go and jump straight into the Beulah Ant, because this is probably my favorite out of the most, and you're about to see why. Now... Bullet Ant here looks pretty cool. You see his little ant antennae, and then under there are the orange eyes. This has a very interesting... My cat is playing with the light. Loki, you gotta move. I'm sorry, you guys wanna meet my cat? Okay. Uh, this is Loki. Loki, say hi. He's a kitten. Uh, I think he's camera shy. But look, dude, come on, say hi. He's purring right now. Look at the camera. So this is Loki, my little kitten. I just got... Uh, he's very close to the camera. This is his first time in YouTube so here he is my little baby boy but you gotta move buddy so yeah that's a lot of the reason why the shakiness happens sometimes to him so that's Loki here's the Zora let's get back to it so what can it do it has little legs it can't really walk or anything but it does have these firing lasers here and here all right dude you gotta stop messing with my camera you gotta move. Okay. Now, let's get okay, back so to the. So, here are all the Zords for this line, and we're about to start the assembly. So, we're gonna start off with red. I mean, the five. I just called it red because of the core. But we're gonna start off with this one, and we're just going to rip off the yellow. No, it's not yellow. It's pink's arm. And we're going to take off this head. Now, once we do that, that's when the auxiliaries are able to combine. So we can then take this off, and it's going to be slightly off because you obviously see the peg hole system. I ran out of the ones that have the single hole, and I'm just going to plug that in. You're going to get the gist of it, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, we're going to plug this in right here, whoa, without knocking off the gun. I mean, that is one of the mechanisms. Whoa. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the combination and so I brought these guys in. We're gonna start off with the original Zord by taking off Pink's arm and the head of red. We can sit these to the side because then they technically have no use and we're going to get purple. Now one thing I will state is that the combination system should be a little bit off on the head but not too much. It won't be off that much. It sort of fits still but I was just giving that as a quick disclaimer because I'm insufficient on bricks. They're somewhere in that giant pile that I have. If you have guys haven't seen it before, but this is sort of the arm. It's really small compared to that. I mean, super small, dude. Uh, but still, this is the point of it. Now, if I turn it to the side, I can then click these just by 
Ah, how do I do it? By clicking these, pushing these forward. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's the right one. Darn it. It's not working. Oh, it's these. Of course. That's what it is. So, apparently, I can't shoot these out as intended because of these eyes, but they actually can shoot. I will just tell you that right now. So, that's pretty much it for purples. It doesn't really do too much. Now, this cannot fit on greens. The arm can. I mean, the arm can, but the head can't. And I have my reasons because the panic system for his head is totally different. And that wasn't intended. You see, his just arms look super dwarfed. It's only because of the uh, connector port if it freaking come out. All right, so it's only because of the connector port, which is why it can fit. But it's really not the best one. And that wasn't supposed to happen, but it did. But who cares, man? It goes right back on. It's a freaking Megazord. That's what happens. So, yeah, that comes off. My cat keeps freaking messing with my dang studio system. And it's really getting on my nerves. Okay. So, I'm going to plug that back on, and then we're going to plug this back on. And really quickly, we're about to put on the other two. So, really, they actually work for this guy. I just wanted to have him in the background for advertisement, which is kind of cool, but hey. So, we get this. We plug these up, close these in, yank that off, get this. Now, this one sort of works a little better. I mean, yeah, we're just going to keep this on here, with the original head first. And you can just sort of put orange there in yellow's place and then you have the giant rotating wind thing which is really really cool and I do like that indeed and then you can also sort of switcheroo this right here you can just take this and put it on and then we can get this and we're just going to put this on here really quickly and then we're just going to fold that back and then boom we have that with the orange connection pretty dope and now we're about to take a look at blue. okay so really quickly before we get into blues we're just gonna kind of try to do orange here for green we're gonna take that off and then we're just going to sort of just plug this on and then we're going to add the wind thingy I don't know why it's not sticking oh that's why Okay. Now it's going to stick. All right, cool. So here's the orange one added on there. Uh, you guys be the judge. I mean, it's kind of dwarfed. Green is perfect for itself. Like, he literally does not need this because he has already his own auxiliary. Like, the Mantis Zord plus the Dragonfly, the Fly itself, and then you have the freaking Earthworm and the Slug. That's a lot. So he has enough swords. So I guess he's good. I like how he looks over there. Super dope. I'm going to miss this set. Um, let's get blue. And before I start crying, just kidding. Take this off. Take that off. Let's get Tick and click him on there. Let's get this lightning brother. Play that main on now. There's blue. Blue actually looks pretty cool. I like how big this one looks. It's just a straight upgrade. Giant, giant mech. Uh, 360 arm rotation. And that's about it. And by the way, this is the end of Wave 8. Wave 8 is over. I saved this guy for last. We got two new sets waiting to be reviewed for Wave 9. But I'm not going to get into those videos until I have the rest of the wave completed. So I may be gone for just a tiny bit, but not too long. So... Expect that. I do have a lot of Zords made, though. I will probably give you guys a little tour. Maybe I should. Uh, stay tuned for that. But other than that, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Power Bricks, Signing off.